Hey guys and girls, if you're watching this, that means you're a member to the channel. Thank you for your support and welcome to channel memberships. This will be my very first tutorial for members only. So I suppose you have a right to feel special. <laughs> All right. Before we get started, here are some of the rules. These particular tutorials are not for sharing. They are for members only. And it is advised that you keep the information that you learn in these tutorials to yourself. But you can also help others grow as well based off of your newfound knowledge. So keep these things in mind before we get started. These are the rules. Please do your best to respect them. Thank you. All right. So now that that's out of the way, let's get to it. All right. Let's get started. Before we begin, I will be using a program called Adobe Fireworks. If you don't have Adobe Fireworks, then you'll have to use an alternative program like Photoshop or maybe GIMP to that degree, etc. But whatever program that you're using, you still will be able to follow along. Just try to follow along to the best of your ability. However, I've left a link down in the description for Adobe Fireworks. You can download it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I tried, but I'd like to make tutorials so that you can follow along step by step so that you can get the maximum learning experience on how to do it exactly as seen. But in this case, if you are not able to do that, then you'll have to use another program and try to do your best to match what I'm doing to the best of your ability. So with that being said, let's go on and continue with this tutorial. All right. Oh yeah. And also down in the links in the description, you will find a link with a folder with a bunch of things in it that is useful for building badges. So I collected some things for you guys and I put them all in a folder together for you. Also, the things that you'll be needing for this particular tutorial will also be in that particular folder as well. So that's there for you. Go ahead and download that first because you'll be needing that for this. All right. As you can see here, this is the badge that I've created previously, and this is also the badge that was currently in the thumbnail. As you see, it looks pretty good, and it looks very well made, and I'd have to say that it is. We're going to do our best to copy this badge from scratch and see if we can recreate it and get it exactly or at least close to this original badge so that we can get a step-by-step -step walkthrough to see how this is done. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and start up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit control O and this is going to open up our files. Once we're in here, we're going to select the orange and white circle and then we're going to double click it. All right, we now have our first template to work with. We now want to try to get it to the same color that we see in our original badge. So let's go back to the original badge and let's get some of those colors or perhaps the gray because that's all we'll be needing because the rest of it is obviously black, but we want to try to match the colors as much as possible to get it as close to that original. Let's go on over to that original tab. Now that we're here back at the original tab, we're going to hit the I button. And what this will do is this will bring up the eyedropper tool. If you're on fireworks, this will bring this particular shortcut up. 
if you're using Photoshop or some other program, then you may need to find out what the eyedropper shortcut is, or you could always select it manually. But however, we will need the eyedropper tool to select the gray color that's on the inner outer rim of the circle so that we can have an exact match of the color so that we can add it to our new template that we just added. So hit the I button and then click on the gray area within the circle. Once you've done this, you're all done. So now we're going to go back to our other tab. Okay. Now we need to fill in the orange and make it gray. So we're going to hit the G button, whatever that is for you. If you're using Photoshop or another program, and if you've got the fireworks and it works, that's great. You can go ahead and follow along exactly how you see it here. But if you're using some other program, then you need to find out what the bucket tool will be. So, but for us who are using Adobe fireworks, then we're going to be pressing the G button and then we're going to click that inner outer rim of the circle and that should change it to gray. So let's do that now. So there you have it. If you did it correctly, you press G and then you clicked on that orange rim, you should have gotten this color here. So that part's done. So we're now just that much closer to trying to duplicate and copy that original badge. All right. So now we're going to move on to filling in the center white circle. Let's go on head over to the left side where you can see the G bucket tool and the color palettes. And we're going to click the G bucket tool and then we're going to select black. And now, as we did before, we're just going to click in the center. And there you have it. Now that looks really good so far. We're halfway there. We just need to add a few more things in order to match our original. So as you can see, the first two steps were pretty easy. We just needed to add the color and we've already got a 10 times better looking palette. Now we're going to drag in our ribbon. I've already created a ribbon for you guys and resized it. So the only thing you need to do is open that badge building folder and drag in that ribbon. It should say ribbon and then just drag it into this window. Once you drag the ribbon into the window, you now want to hit control a, and then you want to go up to the top right hand corner. You should see something called the align. If you don't see the align tool there, then you're going to go up to the top of your window and then you're going to click the windows tab and then you're going to click align. And then this box should show up. After you do that, make sure to click right in the top hand, right hand corner where it says to stage, click that little button in. And this will reassure that when you align everything, everything will align to the stage in the stage. So keep this in mind, make sure you click that button in before trying to align anything. And for Photoshop or any other program, it should just auto align. You shouldn't have to do this, but if you do just make sure to do the same thing, it might have that similar process and it may not. However, your program works, you will need to align it to stage. Now we're going to hit control a, and we're going to select the first one on the left side in the center. And this will align everything to the stage from where it is in its current position. So we're going to click that to align everything now. Make sure to hit control a first and then hit that button. Okay. So now that's pretty much finished. And as you can see, everything is perfectly aligned and it looks pretty good. We've got our ribbon, we've got our background palette and everything is set so far. Now we may as well go ahead and finish up the badge. We have two more items. Let's go on and reopen our badge building folder and drag in our golden ball. We're going to be resizing this ball to do this. 
Once you drag an item into the window, you're going to hit V. Once you hit V, your arrow should turn black in fireworks. If you're using something else, you may not have to do that. But however, if you're in Photoshop, if you hit V, your arrow tool will still come up. So you'll be able to select doing that way. If you're using some other program, the shortcuts might be the same. But however, you'll need to select the select tool and select your item. Once you do so, you then want to hit the Q button and this will bring up the resizer and we're going to resize it. So we're going to select it. We're going to hit Q. Then we're going to hold the alt button and then we're either going to select the top left or right corners or the bottom left or right corners and we're going to drag it inward and this is going to reduce the size of our object. You can move it up and down by hitting the up or down arrows and that's pretty simple but we're going to do the same thing as we did before we're going to hit control a and then we're going to hit the center align tool at the top once again to realign everything and as you can see everything has been aligned perfectly it looks really good you may need to adjust your ball either up or down depending on what you think looks best but however that looks great now the only thing we need to add is the double arrow. So let's do what we did once before and drag our double arrows into the project window. Okay, now that we've aligned it once again, as we've aligned everything else, we now want to color it in. So we're going to hit the G button because we already have the color black and we're going to fill it in. That's all we need to do. So all we need to do is select the gray areas and double arrows to fill it in the color black. So press G and then fill in those double arrows. And as you can see, we're pretty much finished with the badge. It looks pretty nice. So the only thing you would need to do is add a name. So within that folder, I've left my Kindle 7 template there just so you can get an idea of what it will look like when it's done, even though you know that already. But to see the procedure step by step to put the trimming on it and everything like that, I've left that there so you can walk through step by step to see how it's done. So that way, when you do it on your own, you'll have a better idea of how it works and how it's done. Now we're almost done. We're at our final step for this final step we're going to be using Photoshop if you're already using Photoshop then you can stay where you are of course obviously that's where you're working but for us who are using fireworks we'll have to go on over to Photoshop so what we're gonna do is if you have Photoshop we're gonna open it and then we're gonna drag that kind of 7 PNG into there all right, once we do that, we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to head on over here to the right side of the screen. We're going to right click on the layer, and then we're going to hit blending options. Then we're going to select stroke. Now we're going to select a color. We're going to select this little black box down at the bottom and then we're going to select the color. We're going to try to make it as golden as possible. So like maybe sunset gold. So let's go ahead and try to change that color now. All right, that looks good. And now let's change the trim size to one because we want it to be as thin as possible. Hit OK and you're done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save it. So we're going to hold Control and Shift and then we're going to press S. And then we're going to save it 
as a Photoshop file. Since I clearly already have one here, I don't need to resave it. So, but this is what you would need to do. Save it and then you're set. Okay. For those of you who are in Photoshop, you can stay here. There's no need in leaving anywhere because this is your workplace. But for us who are using fireworks, we need to head on back over there because we're going to be adding this to our project. Okay. Let's drag that Photoshop's file into this window and then press OK. Let's hit Control A and then let's center everything. And there you have it. We're all set. The badge is now finished. If you want to use whatever, you know, font you want to use, you can, but as you can see, this looks pretty good. If you're going to be creating badges, you know, you want to be unique. You want your badge to look really good and you want it to be appealing to other people who are going to be using them in maybe live streams when commenting you want your subscribers or people that are using your badges or even if you're using them to you know see them and say like wow i made that but anyway this is how you do it this is pretty much it for this tutorial thank you all for watching thank you for supporting once again make sure to leave a like comment down below remember the rules do not share these and if you did, other non-members would not be able to get these videos anyway, but out of respect for the channel and respect for other members who actually pay for this content, please do not share this content with others and keep this content to yourself, but feel free to help others make badges and do whatever. That's fine by me. But anyways, guys and girls, this has been K7's membership only tutorials. I'll see you all next time. Now you'll be able to make badges like a pro. Peace.